Not so long ago, I restored this big old cross cut saw here for chopping up logs of wood into usable lengths. Now, one of the problems with it is that it's nearly too big. Ideally, you could unscrew this off here and attach it to the lower point down here and you'd have two people using it, but um, it's hard enough to find people to do it with me. Recently, on my travels, I found this fella. It's an old distant, so significantly shorter crosscut saw that would be ideal for using on my own. Now, it's, uh, it's missing its handle, but I think I'll just rob it off this one. And there's a lot of surface rust and stuff like that. Small bit of woodworm, but um, I think we're gonna give it a go anyway at restoring, and maybe this will become my main crosscut saw instead of this one, and I can sell this one. But before anything anyway, we'll throw on the kettle and have a cup of tea. First port of call anyway, lads. We're gonna see if we can remove this handle here, so. We're just gonna spray them with a little bit of WD-40 here, see if we can get them a bit loose, make sure nothing's locked into place. And we're just gonna unscrew them, one screw at a time. Now that we have the rust and most of the patina removed, I think it's time that we sharpen the teeth and then I'm gonna move on and do the handle. So we have the saw here locked into the vise and what we need to do now is grab our triangular file like so and just file down every single set of teeth until they're sharp enough to cut the fibers of the wood. After the most painstaking job out of the way, we finally have the saw sharp and now it's time to go work on the handle. The handle is the next job on the list and it's a job I quite like. All it entails is just sanding off the topmost layer of the wood and then soaking it in linseed oil. So there's a bit of work goes into it, but 
It says almost meditative. My lads, after about two or three hours, maybe four, we have this saw ready to go and I could already feel in my hands how much lighter it is than the last one we had. So please God now it'll work just as well, if not better. So we've a log clamped down here now and we have the saw ready to go. So we're gonna use the shorter teeth in the end just to make our initial cut, just so we have a little slip for the rest of the saw to fit into. And then I'm going to take the full cuts. Let's see what works best here now. rocking but we're just about managing so it looks like this fella's about ready to go here now so it looks like we're about ready to cut here so maybe one more and there we go. So it does cut, I feel like a bit slower than the last one, but I think that's just because we had to do more strokes backwards and forwards to cut the same length of saw. But uh, all in all, I think I'll be hanging on to this one instead of that one, just because it's so much lighter. So that pretty much wraps up the video here now, lads. We can see it does cut. There's a bit more cutting to do with this one just because it's a shorter length blade, but it's so much more easy to manage on your own than that one. So I think I'll be hanging on to this one for the time being. Um, when I'm doing a lot of cuts, I just use the chainsaw anyway, to be honest, but uh, it's nice when I want to do a, a project like that Sugan chair, for example, entirely with hand tools. It's, it's fun to, you know, even cut up the timber from the tree to length using this. So um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Good luck.